Greetings from Ubud! I've been here for three days now. So pretty much I've just been hanging out, chilling, doing editing, eating lots of food. Here's some of the food I've been eating. I just arrived at this really fancy place for $20 a night. Okay, but more on that later. There's a whole story as to why I'm here. But this place has a pool. Although my swimsuit's being washed currently. Hold on, look. Whoa! They also gave me a nice welcome drink. It's like freshly squeezed tangerine juice is what it tastes like. Two nights ago, I did the sunrise hike to Mount Batur. I'd heard about it and it sounded really cool. But then some people told me it was like too busy. So I thought, no, oh, maybe not. I decided to go anyway. You can buy your ticket pretty much anywhere around here. There's so many places that sell these tours. You have to go with a guide, so it costs a little bit more. I paid 330,000, although the other people in my group paid about 300,000, but they were two people. You can always get better deals the more people you have. If you're just one person, you have less bargaining power, so yeah, that kind of sucks. That's one downfall of being solo. Anyway, it's okay. It really is still not that much to do something awesome. We left at 2 a.m. and you stop at this place for breakfast. It was fried banana and coffee and then you arrive. They give you flashlights and then you start walking up the volcano in the dark. And there were tons of people. If you looked up the volcano, there's just like a trail of flashlights going up. I don't know, all the people didn't really bother me. There were so many stars in the sky. It was just absolutely amazing. So clear, so beautiful. And then we got there to watch the sunrise. My group was a little bit slower, so we got to like this one viewing area and watched the sunrise from there, but there's a higher point that we went to afterwards, and then we saw like the main view. But it was kind of nice we did it that way because there was no one else who did it that way, so we kind of had the whole place to ourselves after everyone else left. <laughs> and all the monkeys came out. That was cool. Now we're going up to the top. <laughs> I didn't know there would be monkeys up here. <laughs> this is the crater. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I didn't think I'd have monkeys on me here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is the holy cave. And then yesterday, I kind of just didn't do much all day. It was great. Today, I woke up feeling good, ready to do some things, and then here's where the bad stuff started happening. Well, only really one bad thing. So I was at the hostel. It was really good. It was only $4.50 a night. It had curtains, which I love. Hostels with curtains, way more privacy. And free breakfast. Pretty freaking good for that cost. But then, this morning, I walk into the room and I overhear these girls talking about bed bugs. And I'm like, what? There are bed bugs here? That's like my fear. <laughs> then this other girl noticed that she had bites all over her body. This was kind of close to checkout time, so a bunch of girls that were there just immediately were like, we're not staying here, and they left. I had already been in this place for three nights, and I didn't seem to get any bites. And I was only going to be there one more night, and then, because tomorrow I leave to New Zealand. So part of me was like, well, I've already been here three nights, like what more damage can be done? But then I legitimately saw a dead bed bug. And then I thought it's the last night of my travels. I should just treat myself to a nice room and like be able to sleep and just have a really nice night. Just to be cautious, I'm getting everything I can washed. Everything else I put in plastic bags. Now I feel pretty good about the situation. I think it'll be fine. 
So I got this place, it was just right down the street. I booked online and they said because I booked last minute, the room that was available is actually a nicer room. So I got upgraded for free. So for $20 a night, this is what I'm getting. I'm so happy. Really nice bed. I have a garden view over here. A desk. I have free water. And look at this bathroom. The shower is actually separate. Unless you've been to this part of the world, you don't know how exciting it is to have a shower that's separate from the rest of the bathroom. This is gonna be like luxury. This will be a really nice last night. So that was my eventful morning. But now I'm gonna go exploring. There are two temples that I really want to go to. They're about 30 minutes away. I have a driver, Made. <laughs> Made and Mari. <laughs> because I don't trust myself to ride a motorbike. <laughs> so, you could also, I think, I could have taken a taxi motorbike, yeah, I think that's... probably. Yeah. But also, this is more enjoyable. <laughs> I left pretty late. You have to enter the temples before five, so now I think it's almost four. It's gonna be tight, but it's a nice drive. And it's air conditioned. <laughs> you have to wear a sarong when you come to a temple here, and if you don't have one, they'll give you one free. The feeling of being here just feels really nice. I'm trying to get to the next temple before five. <laughs> I could have spent a lot, lot longer there. Whew, I just made it to this next temple on time, right before five. This is the Holy Water Temple. There's a spring that people have been coming to for a thousand years, over a thousand years, and it's supposed to have um, spiritual, holy, cleansing properties, so people bathe in it. This has been highly, highly recommended from a lot of people that I've met. I went in the water. It was really nice. It took a long time though and now it's really cold. <laughs> I felt very peaceful. I really enjoyed those temples, both of them. And I just went out to dinner. Got a nice $2 meal. <laughs> so tasty. Now I'm just gonna enjoy this luxurious hotel room. Again, I tell you, traveling, especially budget travel, really, really, really makes you appreciate all the things that you might take for granted in your everyday life. To you guys who have been buying stickers and postcards, basically, you guys buying stuff allowed me to have this one night of really awesome room and not being in a hostel with bed bikes. So I thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna say good night now and I'll check back in in the morning before I leave. I'm leaving Bali! I'm waiting right now at the shuttle stop. It's the Kura Kura shuttle. Uh, it's supposed to take two hours to a place and then I can take a taxi from there, but it'll be like 10 minutes, I think, to the airport. I think it'll be good. I just had the most delicious vegan buffet. It's called Sao Bali. This couple that I met who actually recognized me from YouTube recommended it. Yeah, so shout out to Vaughn and Suji. That was delicious. Really good recommendation. Might have been my favorite meal the whole time. So the shuttle was really late, uh, and I, if I waited any longer, I was gonna miss my flight. So my only real option was to take a motorbike here. So I took a motorbike. It took like an hour and a half. Whew. It was a long ride. <laughs> but my driver was so nice. His name was also Madi. Same as my driver from yesterday, weird. He wanted 150, but all I had was 135. <laughs> he said, money is not the number one important thing to him, so it was okay, he took it. Very nice. <laughs> also, uh, New Zealand, you need a return ticket to get in. They won't let you, if you're just on a tourist visa, you can't just go with a one-way ticket, so now I have to really quickly buy a ticket. 
and then I'm gonna cancel it within 24 hours. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more travel videos from me. Bye! <laughs>